too bright. <laughs> okay, that's better. This is not a good backdrop. I'm changing it. <sighs> How is news? How are you today? I'm fantastic. So today is a personal q and A. I I went on Instagram and Twitter and I asked y'all to ask me personal questions and <laughs> you did. Some I thought might be a little too personal, so I was like, Ugh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it anyways. I'm sitting in this like IKEA rocking chair, and <laughs> it's not comfy, y'all. But I'm in the middle of moving, and my other big ass chair. Y'all always comment saying how big that chair is. <laughs> it's like in the middle of my room, and it's just complicated. So I was like, okay, I'm just filming here. So yes, like I said, it's a personal Q and A. I am kind of nervous because some of these questions are. <sighs> A lot and about very personal times in my life but I want y'all to get to know me even better so I'm gonna talk about all of it I think I have like 26 questions so we gotta start y'all can't sit here all day my ass is sweating it actually is my AC keeps freezing so we have to keep it high <laughs> and I'm just like it's Huh. Okay, first question from Garrett. I just wanted to know if you are still making or wanting to release new music. I stand Timmy Music. The homosexual EP was art. <laughs> I have made a few little independent SoundCloud EPs, <laughs> and those are the songs that I use in my actual videos, like during like the fast motion scenes or stuff like that. Um, I love making music, and once I move in the next two weeks, I'm going to start making music again. I feel like in a new environment, I'll be able to focus more and have like a better work work ethic because this house is sweaty and crusty and I just I kind of want like a new space and it's coming y'all <laughs> so yes expect music probably this year maybe by Christmas y'all I want to put out something okay Timmy Claus is coming to town with this big ass okay my family's group text is going crazy and it's really distracting me so I'm going to put them on mute I love y'all <laughs> Ash asks I've been waiting for four years but would you consider doing meet and greets or going on a mini tour I want to meet you so bad and have a chat with you Love you, Timmy. First of all, I love you so much, too. Second of all, if I ever got to, like, the YouTuber level to do a tour, I would totally do it. That would be so much fun. But right now, I'm just not at that level yet, you could say, which I'm fine with. I'm on my own journey. But one day, if I get there, who knows? Maybe I'll come to your city. Welcome back to my tour. <laughs> Paige asks, do you still stand Demi? Um, is that even a question? I love Demi so much. I have been her biggest fan since I was legit 13. Watching me some camp rock, I was like, oh my goodness, that girl with the big smile is amazing. <laughs> like, I just called her the girl with the big smile because I didn't know her name yet. And she has this big glowing smile that I aspire to have. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> uh -huh. Anyways, I'm still her biggest fan. I went to her last tour, the Tell Me You Love Me tour. I'm so excited for her to get better again and just focus on herself and her health. She's a queen and an inspiration and I love her so much. Kosh asks, will you do ASMR videos? I think you are suitable for those, winky face. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm gonna see my dirty teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat really crunchy foods and spit a lot. Destiny asks, what is your true, real passion? When did you realize that was your passion? Well, I have so many passions. I have YouTube. I've always I'm wanted to be like a hairstylist, so I have that on my phone almost fell. And I've always wanted to work in the food industry, either like a pastry chef or a cook, something like that. So. I have all these different things that I kind of want to do, but I don't know how to do all of them. <laughs> I know that in the future, I am going to go to some kind of specialty school, either food school. <laughs> food school. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Are you going to teach me to chew? Or like hair school. But I just don't know which one yet. And right now, I'm fully focused on YouTube 100%. So that would be in the future. JC asks, this may be dumb and please don't take offense. Oh my God. I'm so but how long does it take you to edit out your stuttering? I personally wish you would leave it in more as I find it to be beautiful to have such confidence in it. Well, it doesn't take long because I truly don't stutter that much anymore while I film because I'm literally by myself in a room talking to myself. <laughs> and so I don't stutter that much when I'm filming. It's when I'm talking to other people. Like if I collabed with someone in person, I would probably be a stuttering mess. But I'm by myself, y'all. So I'm super relaxed. I can just talk fluently. 
Um, and so I don't really edit out that much if I do it's like a tiny bit and I don't leave it in because I don't want it to become the focus of the video Does that make sense? Like I'm proud of my setter. I don't care. I'm not ashamed. Whatever I stutter But I don't want every comment to be like skip to this part. Do you notice his stutter? Because <laughs> there would be a hundred comments of those I want the focus to be on what the video is about. Does that make sense? If I'm making a video about stuttering Sure, I'll leave that in y'all. Davey asks. I know you collect dolls have you ever been ripped off when purchasing one? Like, did you ever get a knockoff instead of what you expected? I used to collect plush toys and I dealt with that. Well, I got scammed one time. Um, so there's this like really special Snow White doll. It's like a Disney store doll. And, and I ordered her on eBay for a lot of money, y'all. Ooh, I would not pay that much now. Uh-oh. And she wasn't arriving. And I wrote to them like a few weeks after. I was like, hi, um, where is it? <laughs> And they were like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is my, like, partner's account, and they've been scamming people. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I love the honesty, but... <laughs> and so eBay refunded me. It was fine, but scammers... Scammers are gonna have stinky buttholes, y'all. Speaking of stinky assholes, <laughs> Juan asks, longest time when you've never taken a shower. Okay, I have a story and an excuse. So I lived in Africa. Some of y'all know this. I lived in Kenya for a year and a half because my parents are like pastors slash missionaries and I'm the gay sailor. No, I'm just kidding. My parents love me. So, okay, in our house in Kenya, we had a water heater that you would have to turn on, like push a switch. And apparently, it, like heated up the water for like five minutes or like something like that um and I don't know why I had this horrible fear that it would catch on fire and I don't know why I don't know if I had heard stories about those things catching on fire I don't know I don't know but I was so scared to take a shower and also the water did have like bacteria in it like we had to boil our water and then drink it you know what I mean so there was a lot of fears and I was I think 11 <laughs> I wish I could say I was like five but I was 11 and I just did not want to shower I I kind of kept it to myself like I didn't talk about it and so I don't think that my parents noticed um and I went a month without bathing now keep in mind this was 13 years ago okay I was 11 and thankfully I was not that stinky or maybe I just thought I wasn't I don't know but I didn't shower I did not want to until my parents found out and they forced me to shower thankfully now I shower every day I use sulfate free shampoo so come at me <laughs> That's my foot. <laughs> Valerie asks, what's the thing you hate most about YouTube? I think, okay, I love YouTube. I'm so grateful for it. Like, it has changed my life. It has, it's, it's my career. So I'm so grateful for it. I think what I don't like is just the, the constant suspense that something could change. Like, in the algorithm or just anything. You know, something could change. Jesse asks, does it annoy you when the same person comments on your videos? Sorry, I'm a fan and I comment a lot. I'm so sorry. I love you. Um, Jesse, I love your comments, Jesse. First of all, I always see you because your name is Jesse the Cheeto. I love Cheeto, so I always recognize you, girl. Second of all, I love all your comments. Keep commenting. It means so much to me, for real. I love to communicate with you guys. Tell me about yourselves, anything. Like, you guys are wonderful. And so comment as much as you want, and it would never annoy me, ever, unless if it was hate. Oh, girl, that would annoy me. Bus six ass. Are you secretly Kim K? How did you know? Like, did my butt give it away? <laughs> Courtney, you're a terrible person. I want nothing to do with you. I don't want to see you again. Lil Kitty asks, coffee or tea? Neither. I hate coffee. I hate tea. I hate soda. Unless if it's diet. I am a water drinker. Meg asks, are you planning to marry your boyfriend? If so, when? I am... Going to answer this with the other question later in the video. <laughs> Damn it, Sarah asks, since you were homeschooled and gay, <laughs> how did you make friends? <laughs> well, because I was homeschooled, I literally barely had any communication with the outside world. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Uh, <laughs> wait, side note, this shirt makes me look like a potato, y'all. Look, I'm this skinny, okay? <laughs> I probably had like one friend at a time. It was either a neighbor or someone from church, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've never in my life had like a group of friends and I don't have a desire for that. Like last year, I tried to be social. Like I thought that having a bunch of friends was what you're supposed to do. So I hung out with my sister's friends for like a couple months 
and looking back now I cringe not because of my sister's friends they're great I cringe at myself because I wasn't being true to myself I have realized recently that I am an introvert and there's nothing wrong with that and I embrace it now if I feel like being alone playing video games for a damn month I will do that and I will have the best time of my life because I'm doing what I want to do and I'm having my own kind of fun. A lot of people like to, you know, go out with their friends, blah, 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 and that's great, but I'm just, that's just not what I'm programmed to be. That's not how I am. That's just not me. And I tried to do it and it was okay, but looking back, I'm, I'm like, I would rather be at home watching Once Upon a Time, binging it for the 10th time, okay? So if you're an introvert, be proud of it and don't think that you have to be a popular social queen just because everyone else is, okay? Just do you, do what makes you happy. Mango asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, like I said before, probably either a hairstylist or a chef or a YouTuber still or a YouTuber slash hairstylist and chef. All three together. Hopefully a YouTuber still because I want this to last forever. Tay Tay asks, what's your best advice on someone who's experiencing a lot of hate in the world and not sure how to cope or handle it? Thank you and I love you bunches. Keep making the world smile. Tay Tay, first of all, love the name. Second of all, I'm so sorry if you're getting hate or someone you know is getting hate. Okay, so this is how I see the world. Everyone is so focused on money and hair and clothes and Instagram and followers and all of this stuff that feels so important to us. It actually feels important to our minds. But when you get down deep to the core of life itself, life is not about any of this. I think life is supposed to be about literally doing what you love and love itself. It's about love. And so if people are mocking you for hair or looks or money or how many followers you have or anything just remember that they are focused on such superficial shit and you know the true meaning of life which is love and if they're not giving you love girl bye. in those situations you have to look inside yourself and think wow this is really not important and they're just being an asshole about something stupid okay and i am that bitch i know the meaning of life i am that bitch okay so for real don't let the hate get to you please just remember that there are people who love you and care about you and will do anything for you even if it's one person two people there are people out there that love you i love you queen okay stay strong no matter what the situation is push through and remember that life is not about any of this crap damn i should be a pastor follow my parents footsteps amen maddie asks what is your secret to a long and happy relationship I'm gonna answer this question with the other one again, okay? Maddie asks, what are your thoughts on the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star series? I assume you watched, and your thoughts about Jeffree Star overall. I watched all my parts. So good, so iconic. My first thought watching the series was, damn, Jeffree is rich. <laughs> and then by the end of the series, I was like, wow. Jeffree's a person too, and sometimes we like forget that these people who are like literally empire queens are human, and Jeffree's very human. I thought it was a great series, and Jeffree's grown on me so much this year, and he's super funny. Little Bug asks, are you ever gonna confront someone like that you've got drama with? I think it'll be a great video. Okay, I don't have a lot of drama, but if anyone wanted to <laughs> throw some drama at me and then we have a confrontation, I would do it. Alex asks, what is the skincare routine? Okay, you want to hear? First of all, take my advice. I have two blossoming pimples. No, actually, they're dead. They're dead pimples. They're going away, but they're like those hard pimples that like kind of stay for a few days. You know what I'm talking about? So recently, my shampoo was giving me pimples. I got this shampoo that was like organic, but it wasn't sulfate free, and it had all these oils in it, all this stuff. It was giving me pimples. It gave me these, okay? And then recently, I got this new shampoo, not sponsored. Um, it's Burt's Bees sulfate free mango something, but it smells like oranges not mango It's so good. My hair is like greasy, but like in a good way like I love it <sighs> And most of my pimples have stopped these are just still going away and the face wash that I use is a vino foamy Something cleanser Piper asks what has been the hardest part on your journey to make your speech better honestly pushing myself 
So like for my speech to get better, I literally have to talk to people. Does that make sense? Like if I hide away from like ever talking to people, it gets worse and worse and worse. That's just how it is with me. I don't know about anyone else. So it's like those moments where I push myself to order food for myself like out loud <laughs> to the waitress and then I feel so good about myself. Or it's like those moments when I pick up a random phone call and I'm like, hello? And I feel so good about myself because I got through it and I pushed myself, I made myself do it. And it really does help my stutter so much. So that's been the hardest part, but also the most rewarding. Okay, last question. So this is the one that I've been waiting for. Um, what happened to Alejandro and his channel? Okay, so... Okay, stop. <laughs> so first of all, about his channel. Um, he started a YouTube channel, um, I think like two years ago? And it was around the time that my channel was like getting big. Like y'all, I was getting those views, okay? And he started a channel and I was like collabing with him and I was getting him into other collabs and his channel grew so fast too. He got like 200K um, subscribers so fast, right? There was a few months where like everything was like going good and we were just like making videos, but I think that super fast rise to like 200,000 subscribers, that's a lot of subscribers, 200,000, it took its toll on him and it made him very stressed and like anxiety of just about the whole thing. And also YouTube was going through so many changes at that point, like all of our channels were like dropping and it was just so much stress on him that he literally had to step away and just stop. And I completely supported him because it's like, if something is stressing you out, and giving you so much anxiety, it's just not worth it. You know, like mental health needs to come first. And so that's what happened to his channel. Everyone, I get so many questions, like literally a week from people asking, what happened to all Hunter's channel? I can't find it, it's closed. It's closed, y'all. And now he has a job. It's all great, right? Now, about our relationship, me and him, I also get so many comments saying, did you guys break up? What's going on with you guys? Um, why do we never see him anymore? Blah, blah, blah. And y'all, relationships are something with a lot of ups and downs, okay? People go through things. Couples have issues. And then they work through them. Things like that. And of course, our relationship, just like any other, has gone through ups and downs. And I just need to say right now that we are happier than ever! <laughs> we are truly happier than ever. Um, we are probably at the best point that our relationship has ever been. He is the love of my life, I'm the love of his life. <laughs> and he truly makes me so happy and brings me so much joy. And we just have the best time together. And to answer the other question about getting married, I can't wait to marry him. We're not engaged or anything, but maybe in like a few years, maybe in the next five years, who knows, you might get married, who knows? <laughs> waiting baby <laughs> but yes he's doing great we're doing great everything is great we have two gorgeous children our babies regina and tamali and i can't wait for our future and also just grow old you're gonna wipe my ass i'm gonna wipe your ass love you baby so that was the q a i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sweating juicy tomato <laughs> don't forget to watch my last videos y'all i tried all of oprah's frozen food it was so much fun <laughs> i dressed up as all of shane dawson's characters and i've done a lot of things so go check all those out subscribe to become a tomato and hit that ding dong notification bell i'll see you on next video i love you so much Ooh, boo, boo.